welcome to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr Goff, from mrgoff.com. Today's video will focus on competition and its effects on price. Whether it is caused by an existing company getting larger in size or new companies entering the market, an increase in competition means a right shift of demand. This leads to a lower equilibrium price and a higher equilibrium quantity. This means firms might try to lower their prices in order to attract new customers or even retain the ones that they've got. The elasticity of demand for a product will make a big difference to the type of effects we see when there's an increase in competition. For a product with elastic demand, there'll be a small percentage drop in equilibrium price, but a larger percentage rise in equilibrium quantity. If the product has inelastic demand, there'll be a larger percentage drop in equilibrium price and a smaller percentage rise in equilibrium quantity. So as you can see, the degree to which equilibrium price drops is dependent on how elastic the demand for the product is. Although generally we would expect an increase in competition to lead to a decrease in prices, there are some ways that it can become complicated as firms strive to compete. For instance, if they spend a lot more on advertising, then they may need to recoup these costs by higher prices. Similarly, as firms need to spend money on research and development for innovation, this is a very expensive cost and again, must be borne in the prices of their products. That brings us to the end of this video on how competition affects price. Join me again for another video soon, where we'll be looking at the effects of competition on producers and consumers. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics, and until next time, it's bye for now.